Yeah. There was some that straight up like me and Tommy bought Puss Coin and <laughs> and it went it went to, it went to zero within thirty minutes. <laughs> we we got robbed within the hour. <laughs> All right, it's another edition of KSC Radio Monday episode where we try to chop it up with somebody from Barstool. Oh, that's, this, a, that's gonna be a nightmare. Fly. Yeah, this place is messy, but it's not usually dirty. Like we, 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 I think at least I don't know with you. You never know if there's food around and stuff. We usually don't have flies. That sucks. Anyway, very special guest because uh, usually it's like uh, someone on camera or you know talent forward facing, but Greer is the like the Wizard of Oz. Greer is, <laughs> is the man behind the curtain. I would argue that Greer is the funniest person in Barcelona. I would argue that Greer is the funniest person and i think the most powerful <laughs> i mean there there were times where i i for years when we couldn't get any information that i was like i know greer has all the fucking, got all the numbers like like if we were uh like a government like he would have the nuclear codes well do you yeah, remember you have our... the nuclear codes of barstool essentially yeah pretty much yeah. like you know who who what numbers they put up what numbers they earn. I like how you're like that. If you're the center, you're like, yes. <laughs> Sometimes people are like down, but no, nah, no. Nah, like, yeah, yes. I have I've gotten in trouble for giving away the nuclear codes when I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> well, that's, so that's where I think the intrigue really comes in with you because that almost should be a role if, if they, the way Barstool has run it in the past has been very like uh, nobody gets to know their worth <laughs> and nobody knows what, like, what job they're doing there, how, how well they're doing it. If you want to run your business that way, it's almost like I think like the guys in Vegas who make the lines like they have to be like ghosts. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know because you go out, you have a few beers, you start to become friends with someone. It's like, well, here you go. Oh no. yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can be I compromised. Know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can be compromised. Like, what do you want to know? Your downloads, your views, other, other people's salaries. What do you want? Here we go. That stuff I actually don't know. Really? That that stuff I don't. Okay, know, okay, so, but you do uh, know all the the information. Yeah. But so, we've started kind of giving that away. Yeah, like yeah. The now, producers, yeah. everyone knows. So. Yeah, now, no, which is crazy that it's like. Yeah. Now you we started to... telling you things. I know. <laughs> like, it was... like, like when you know how fucking mortifying it was is uh, when like I would talk to comics and I'm you know trying to you know you always make fun of me for like keeping like networking with all these people and I'll talk. I to don't them. make fun of you for the record. Well, no, I acknowledge I, it, but yeah. it, it it's it's I think it's very impressive and I wish I did it. It's not fun though. So you, <laughs> but you know, then they would they would ask me like so or like here you know I, I did like this many downloads this month like but that's like nothing compared to you guys right and I'm like I don't know <laughs> couldn't tell you and they'd be like what do you mean like you've had that show for like ten years I'm like yeah I don't know I don't know I don't know how many downloads case you radio does and you know what's but it, what is funny I, and that's something I like complained about a lot now it is all available. And I don't go look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. One, because of laziness. And two, like, I, I don't want to do it that way. I don't want to be like, well, this did more views, so we're going to, like, stop talking about that thing and talk about this thing. Like, just fuck so it. So we're going to argue at about Barbie another day. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, do you want to know something that's crazy? That's crazy, Kevin. I mean, there's been a lot of fucking crazy things. So we were doing an out of order sketch last night, and I did something I haven't done in six months. And maybe I should do more often now. But I went... Pavs, just like how bad is it and he's like he was like what do you mean it's like the response online like how bad is it do you know what the answer is is it not bad nobody cares <laughs> yeah, I, I was like bro okay then for now going forward if i'm on day five of talking about a topic i don't want to talk about and no one, <laughs> and cares, no one cares one way or another right, like, let me know like I, <laughs> I, 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 okay here's great maybe you can do this for us i want you to maybe um, if you could run like the numbers the last two episodes of KC Radio, if they're bad downloads, I, I oh god, I hope, I hope it's just like, no, hey, guess what? Nobody fucking cares. Nobody I, cared they're, about they're, they're they're not bad numbers. Damn it! Yeah. But that was yeah. because of the alien talk. Yeah. Stuff. If I'm talking about a topic I want to talk about and nobody cares. That's, that's basically the show. That's, that's, that's what the that's show our is. Career, yeah. dude. You guys did kind of promote it as like girls versus boys on well, Barbie. Well, fucking and, what? And, yeah, and, and it's like it's like Caroline cries this episode. So it's like, yeah, well, let's fucking well, tune in for that. So, so our last episode was called, um, and what about communism? Uh, and another thing, and what's so bad about communism? I, I that was funny. So I wanted he wanted to go with that, and I was like, yes, let's do that. My I was gonna recommend something before I heard that. Uh, and I was gonna. I wanted to call that episode. This is why we hate chicks. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is why, girls. It um, was. It was. I, I'm done with move. Next yeah, topic. Yeah. Next topic. <laughs> back, back to Greer. Um, so you, you're like this data dude, but now with Out of Order, you're in it. You're pseudo producing, pseudo vlog guy. Vlog, yeah. Vlog. yeah. <laughs> what was there was one. I think last time, one time the credit said something really funny. You like, like the, the it always says I'm, he, I'm vibes. Yeah, yeah, because right, 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 right. I can't really do anything. I'm but just kind of around mind. trying to throw throw things out there, and I'm a horrific actor. So it's just like, oh, we can't get anyone for this role that requires no speaking lines and no expressiveness with their face. You've been in every episode though, it. haven't you? I think so. Yeah, yeah. probably oh, like yeah. a very minor role in each yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> So wait, what's the real connection there? Is it like you, Owen, Pavs? Owen, John, Owen, Owen just Owen, like yeah. asked if I wanted to help, and I was yeah. like, yeah, I. Oh, so can't, you guys weren't like I can't really do that much, but I'll do what I can. But so you weren't like friends before. It was like he. No, no, I was friends with Owen before, but through like barstool, like just like regular yeah. work stuff. Right? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I yeah, I think Owen's got a good eye and ear for that. So I think that the vibes is important. Vibes is humongously like, important. In fact, I'd say there was only one sketch that had bad vibes. And, they, and they, they weren't bad the whole time, but they were bad to start. Um, and I don't think you were there. Huh? It, there was, you it was... Uh, Ask for a raise, bro. <laughs> the father-son homecoming. And it was just like... we. It, and it wasn't anyone individually. It was just like we traveled out to Long Island. Yeah. Something happened. We weren't sure if we were going to end up doing it. We were like, oh, we came out here for nothing. I think Sass was like getting... Something was happening with his apartment. And so like he couldn't get out. Like We got out there, and Sass was like, I can't make it. And he was tied up with banks. And then and he ended up coming if out. Career was there. Career was there. Vibes like, would have been. You weren't. You weren't there, right? Were no, you? I wasn't. Yeah. There was. There was one though that you weren't there for that never got put out. That was so <laughs> bad. <laughs> like, my girlfriend was in the other room, and she, after everyone left, she's like, "You guys aren't gonna put that out." <laughs> like that was horrific. Bad, <laughs> it like, was not funny or bad. Like, not funny. It was okay. like one, I think I want to say like the second one we tried to film, and it was literally just like. No script, no real direction on it. Just yeah. like, let's try to do something with yeah. this. And they put me in way too large of a role. <laughs> I had no idea. Like, I've never done any sort of acting or improv or anything. And, like, you're really good at that, Bro, like, leading so shit. Good, right? And, like, it, it was me, Sass, and Owen, and then uh, John Kennedy, yeah, who yeah. was one of the lawyers in the yeah. Dancing Lobster one. Yeah. And that one was... We, wild <laughs> and we just were like sitting there and nobody would talk we'd be like just it would be dead silence for like 15 <laughs> seconds just trying to think of the next line and nobody was taking the lead like and we were all just like yo should we just start this all over <laughs> and nothing came of it, it, it so yo, yeah that never you, saw the light of day. i i i hate doing content when civilians are around Dude, the, oh, there was uh, one. I'm doing like one minute, man. If anyone's in the house, my family's around. I like, I'll go into like a basement, close a door, put clothes in front of it. I don't want anybody to hear anything. And that's for like just a, a video where I'm talking, let alone trying to act and be funny. And I shit. actually think the talking one is harder. You think so? Yeah. Uh, cause I, and, and I don't like doing this either, but they're, really the only time we've done one here where like a quote unquote civilian was around was the Welcome to Moe's. Because we had to oh, rent yeah. a restaurant like on like some website, <laughs> mm -hmm. and the guy just sat there in the corner the whole time, Super and weird. that was weird. Partic that that one we were lucky because like the content of it wasn't really that edgy. Yeah. Um, but like there have been other ones where it's like I hope I guess the one uh, the uh, another one didn't get out that we've just reshot that will. Yeah. Get out. That time I like went outside. <laughs> that one was a little. That, <laughs> You'll understand insane. what I'm yeah. talking about later. I don't want to say it on a it, show. It sounds very vague right now, but it's super specific. If you've been to a live <laughs> show, you know what. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If you're a live show, you'll, you're like, oh, yep. Um, but that one was like, I was like, this is so weird. This guy's guy, so weird. This guy's here. And then we started, and I was like, oh, I don't care. If I was like doing like a, even even like yeah, a, hey, new episodes out, go oh, check I hate out. It, man. I would feel. I would feel. I. Uh, very it took me like a long time. Back now, I kind of just do one minute man like TikTok style. But before, when I would set up the ring light and everything, if like Jackie and Pavs and then we're just like in the room editing, I I used to be like, "Can you guys get out?" Yeah. And then eventually, I was like, "I can't 
like they need to work and I just got <laughs> over it but it's weird doing content in front of people and that's from people who do content so for you like you're oh, like i was mortified that my girlfriend could hear every oh. single thing that was going on. i was like she's gonna fucking leave me <laughs> like, this is this is the worst shit ever <laughs> and she's Talking it, about the and ick or nothing, it hadn't even, like i don't think an episode had been out yet so she's like what is probably this? thinking like he better stick with data because <laughs> like, whatever he's trying to do here fucking sucks <laughs> speaking of data the one of your most famous pictures is Dave's. This is our data guy. No, yeah. not a joke or oh, something like yeah. that. That you was for Gally, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Taking a little cat nap on my way, on my way home hey. from uh, Straight Wharf. <laughs> Look, been there a million fucking times. Were you were you out like unconscious or were you just like you? I don't know. What, what, I what, don't walk me through that know. picture. <laughs> yeah, right. I I wo- I remember waking up. Someone's like, "Yo, you gotta get home." and then I saw the picture and I was like, "What was my plan?" Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I have so good. Yeah, I, th- that all, was that was not uh, that was not good to wake up when I got home. All my <laughs> friends were like, "Yo, fucking, you see this?" And, <laughs> Dude, that was Dave did that with me when I like first started yeah where it was i think the headline was apparently this is our new intern <laughs> dude it's the sprawl <laughs> and because you got your ears so big it's yeah. like, like you're the taking whole up the whole sidewalk yeah. <laughs> and, and the time stamp makes it great too 3 27 p.m <laughs> so good this is our data guy no joke <laughs> that and, and it's, it's also like a it's like but it's like this is like our our data guy who's good you know that's what I mean? like, but that's when that's fucking back when things were good too yeah when it's like is our da- like that that makes sense within the company yeah. Yeah, it's not like yeah. this is our data guy he came from bleach report right yeah. like, get yeah. the fuck our, 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 our data guy can pass out on the street in the middle of the day <laughs> and, that's and still be good at his yeah, job look, look literally someone said that bar stool data just hits different like, yeah that, that, that bar the days, it just was, it was he tweeted that out too when i was uh like on the way home i was on a fucking bus back from oh. nantucket to new york city and oh the, the a bro- bus yeah a bus jeez probably the only person bro. leaving nantucket on a bus i was gonna say bro <laughs> if you're leaving yeah. Fagawi on a bus gonna, don't go to Fagawi. how is that possible <laughs> the bruins were in the cup or probably not cup final that wouldn't be happening memorial day right or maybe, no, but you guys were doing a live show in Boston, like a Barstool Radio a on the Monday. It was yeah. definitely the playoffs. Yeah, it, was 20, it wasn't. 20, it was before 2019. Yeah, and Marina was there, and I was gonna go, and then I was just so like before Dave even put out the tweet, just the fact that I saw <laughs> that picture on social media, this like Chad Tuckett Instagram. I was like, I was like, I was like, <laughs> which I've been Tuckett. featured on many times. <laughs> There's, that's my spot there's, there's some other deep cuts that i haven't said anything about <laughs> but um so I, then i was just like i'm just going home like fuck this i'm going home and i'm on the bus and like i start getting texts like oh no greer and i was like what <laughs> open twitter you know, and i was like holy was fuck it, was that a uh like a rogue picture that like someone emailed the day or sent to a DM. No, or, or, like, it, a friend of yours. And I think like, I think Gaz. I think yeah, Gaz. Gaz. Yeah, I think Gaz, Gaz saw it on that Chad Tuckett thing. Oh, and oh then, okay, but and it, then, Gaz didn't take the picture. No, no, no. Okay, no, so no, it was no. like a stranger who walked by. Person, random person. So you person. you think you were like trying to go somewhere and just like tripped and fell and I, just like stayed down or something no or you i just, was like, trying I to go home to and then i was probably like i'm dizzy i'm laying down <laughs> <laughs> and then and then yeah I, I don't i definitely wasn't down for long like but that was my next question but was I, that like uh, a minute or like an hour no 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 someone someone's like yo you should go home and i was like yeah yeah i definitely should <laughs> and then woke up hours later featured on that page and <laughs> i've yeah. done that before that Newport should be like an where... album cover bro <laughs> <laughs> i've done that in newport where like same thing like people are like you should go home and i went home and this is at night not during the day and we they like got home they're having an after party and then like in the middle of the after party they were like wait where's feidelberg and then the two girls who weren't drinking were like, we got to go find them. So they started driving around Newport. It's like, yeah, no, you don't. Found me. That's such a girl thing. Like, guys <laughs> oh, would be like, 100%, oh, we'll be fine, 100%. You know? Like 99% one... chance he'll be fine. 1% chance he's dead. But yeah. like, there's also a 100% chance we're probably not just going to like find him somewhere. Mm-hmm. So they, they did, did find but me. That, but see, that, <laughs> and I woke awesome. up in a hospital with staples in my head. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I was asleep in a bush in front of a pizza place. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I guess what I had like fell and fallen back and hit my head on cement or yeah, something like that. Oh, oh, you ever think about that? <laughs> it was it wasn't a lot of sleep. Like honestly, if I had just gone home, I probably would have just like washed my hair and like gotten the blood out and been fine. Right. It wasn't like this big gash. Yeah. But you ever think they, though about how many times like that you could have hit like a corner of a concrete like. Oh, Legend I should have been dead. You know? I should be dead ten million times. Yeah, like the amount of times. The fact that I'm not makes me think I might be immortal. Y- yeah, like you're, you're uh, unbreakable. <laughs> <laughs> like, exact same if thing. I'm not dead, <laughs> what does it take to die? <laughs> <laughs> the human body is an amazing Imagine machine. You guys are like you lived like 175. And like, yeah, they always said they were immortal. Like, I was really doing my best, remember, and I'm somehow healthy. Like what the fuck? I lived in a, a, a walk up apartment and the first floor was like two floors it was like a really long staircase and i went i i stumbled home with my roommate at the time drunk and he was behind me and he was really shit faced i should have been should have been i should have been helping him up and i remember like he was stumbling and ping-ponging and back and forth and i turned around to be like come on dude and I just watched him go like, like, like die hard, like, <laughs> and just like, and it like he just kept going down. And I remember being like, "That's a dead body." I was like, My friend is dead now. Hey, I'll, I'll he take care of this in the morning. morning. He just like, yeah. like, fucking, like a rubber ball. Just like, okay. <laughs> started back up the hill like fucking Sisyphus. <laughs> I had an issue with. Uh, I started. I've done it twice in New York. I've like slept walked out of my apartment when no I've been way. drunk. Yeah. And the the one time was, uh, I think I thought I was going to the bathroom. The bathroom door and the front door were, like, right beside each other. And I just this is let like myself. Your apartment? Yeah, okay. I just let myself out the front door. It's, like, right across the street from the Port Authority, my old apartment. Uh-huh. And then, like, it closes. And then my dog starts going nuts. And that kind of kicks me awake. I'm like, why the fuck am I outside yeah. right now? And then I'm in my shoe or no just socks don't have keys on me or anything and so i knew i had a spare key at the office so at like four in the morning with no shoes on i sprinted from hell's kitchen to the office <laughs> went and got it's the a keys long way just, for people who don't know yeah and just, and just <laughs> sprinted you know, back why did 20, you sprint 20, yeah. Yeah, he could just my dog time. was going nuts uh, <laughs> I, felt, I felt like i had to at oh. that point the dog's barking also I'm the less time. time outside barefoot the better so I'm, I'm gonna i actually sprint. think if i had to be outside in new york on my on my in like barefoot or socks I think I'd tiptoe. I think I'd have. I think surface it wouldn't be pot. speed. It would yeah. be surface. I don't yeah. yeah, especially around there. Yeah, yeah. Needle <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, yeah uh, for real. Not too careful. I mean, that's you know twenty something blocks, a couple yeah. avenues. That's <laughs> yeah. no joke. Yeah, that is. Uh, that's that's the White Sox, Dave. You know, I was sleepwalking. You were just blackout drunk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you have two of my favorite running bits on social media. What's the deal with the climate change? How are we doing? I mean, we only got like five years left. <laughs> Dude, we're, I actually, to- we're toast. <laughs> it's so funny because I've walked through Union Square. Not a ton, but a fair amount. I, I live down that area. And uh, every time I walk by it, I'm like, fucking Greer. But yeah, like this past week, maybe two weeks ago, I was walking through and it was full on protest. And oh, really? like it, I, I don't think the guy was even saying five years. He was saying less time. Where he's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he's it's over like, tomorrow. He's like, like right in my face. Like we got thirty days left. <laughs> like, I'll take that bet, dude. <laughs> like, when I get drunk, sometimes I'll like take a picture of my girlfriend and say that like she's talking shit on the climb. Just say things that I want to say, <laughs> but it's just like it's her saying it. Just like you should have heard this shit that Savannah just said. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll wake up in the morning and she'll be like, "Why? Are you, stop doing that!" <laughs> She's your 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 fucking like puppet. Your yeah, mom basically, mom. yeah. Just the, the, the things that I'm not willing to put my name on, I'll put her name on it. That's fucking <laughs> awesome. My girlfriend just said Barbie was mid. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great. Yeah, like I'm, I always say, like girlfriends are good for like mm. they bring uh, some block to the beach. They RSVP to events for you. They'll send a thank you note. And you can use them as your like straw man puppet to, <laughs> yeah, make, exactly. to post your fucking real opinions. <laughs> yeah. That's Why great. Did you do that again? 
<laughs> that's that's a better drunk bit than passing out in the Antarctic. Like, like, yeah, that's a lot that's better. Gross. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I got a girlfriend now. <laughs> I make her say bad things online. <laughs> what, what's your other second favorite thing? Or is that? Is it? Uh, it's Trudeau. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are, you're from Canada, right? Yeah. yeah. Where, where in Canada? Uh, Guelph, Ontario. So a little bit outside of Toronto. Okay. Because uh, when I was there, it sounds like you don't like Canada, right? Uh, they've, the, the, yeah. The, the, I got a drinking and public ticket there last weekend, actually. <laughs> Literally, wa- like, walking. Uh, we were in uh, Grand Bend, which is, like, sort of a cottage country thing. And literally, a two-minute walk. I brought a beer from the cottage we were renting to the other cottage my friends were renting, and I managed to get a drinking in public ticket no. on that two-minute walk. Yeah, oh, I didn't even know drinking in public was illegal in Canada. I didn't know you got tickets for it. I, yeah, four of us got tickets. It was it was well, I, it was ridiculous. We were literally just like it was like going to your neighbor's house and bringing a beer like on the walk, and they were like, "You can't fucked. do that." I'm like, "I guess technically, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be a dick why, about why it." Why do you need a stickler about the rules here, bro? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's not the essence of the law. Also, like <laughs> Grand Bend is is disgusting and there's probably 17 year olds sucker punching people at the bar go deal with that like i'm just bringing a bud light to my other cottage that's like greer texted me but we were texting about something and i was oh i was asked to come on the show and he's like i can't i'm going home this week i'm gonna get sucker punched by high school <laughs> yeah what it, you mm. described it funny remember i said the other day it sounded like he was deported you said something like like rather than being like like greer's in canada for the weekend or something like that the way you worded it was like like he You've been sent back to the country. I forget what I said, but I did. I it, it yeah. It feels funny. It feels like you're at any back like, to the motherland. I usually <laughs> say. Are, are you a citizen? Yeah, uh, America? Yeah. No, no. I have a visa. visa. And then so, hopefully green card soon. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Work. So you 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 Wait. start working and you get. So I am on a TN visa, it's called, which is uh, I don't have to be in like a lottery or anything. I have a skill set that fits a profile. And the technical reason I have the visa is that they can't find anyone in America that has the same skill set that I provide Barstool. So... Uh, yeah, you get. I'd argue there's nobody in America true. that can be me. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's right. Yeah, I, I I would stand by it. The vibes and the smarts, like uh, you know, there's. O- I'll tell you this much: there's only one Greer. <laughs> I, I don't know if there's only one person in the country that can do the data, but there's only one Greer. Yeah, in terms of their definition of what, there's. Thousands and thousands of me. <laughs> Hopefully, nobody from fucking immigration is watching this. <laughs> my, really, my you need this one. Send them back. Get this it expires in March. Dude. So really, so, yeah. so there is a world where you could get deported. There is a world where I could get deported. Yeah, yeah. Especially I, the ticket I got last weekend, I just threw out right away. So I don't know how that works. But yeah, if, so I, like, if I go you, to the border and they're like. that like when you get a, a, a parking ticket at your buddy's college you're visiting? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Never. <laughs> never. Or any ticket I get ever. <laughs> so yeah. If they, they need to invent, you can just pay your ticket right then and there. Like scan it and pay it. Yeah. Because and, and, anytime I go on the website, it's like you need to wait like 18 hours, 12, whatever, 4, 24 hours for it to upload. And by then I'm like, uh, forget about it. And then it's like, now you owe $2,000 because it's like five years old. I did tweet at Trudeau to get a pardon yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I, told him, I told him I wouldn't post him in blackface for one fiscal quarter if he, if he pardoned me. <laughs> I haven't heard back. <laughs> uh, he really, he, he can't stop, won't stop. Man. The most blackface ever. The goat, the blackface goat. Well, uh, he, he loves costumes. That was, that was like his excuse in a press I conference. Love costumes, I love costumes. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> he was like Aladdin. Aladdin. The big one was Aladdin or something, right? He had yeah, like a brown uh, face on. Yeah, he did. And then, uh, then there's other pictures of him, just not in blackface, but also dressed like Aladdin, doing some <laughs> shit in like India or something. Bro, so love, he does see, love costumes. So what, what he has to do from now, like every Halloween, he's got to blow it out and be like, "Told you so." Like, <laughs> he's I love like, still do blackface so much. <laughs> that would be yo. If, if Trudeau just flat out does a blackface costume again, like. Blatantly, I he's the man. Yeah. He is the fucking man. 
Mikey like always says I have the blackface pass because I'm Canadian. Like we vote, we voted him in. We clearly made it a thing in Canada. That's our culture. So Grandfathered I'm, I'm in. able to do blackface. I think I'm gonna hold out on that. But. Yeah, don't don't test that theory. No, I'm not gonna. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Life is already difficult as it is, so why add another hard thing into the mix? Why make it difficult to get to therapy? People say you need therapy to make your life easier, but then trying to get into therapy is half the battle. That makes your life harder. It's this vicious cycle. Thanks to BetterHelp, you don't have to worry about that now. All you got to do is log in, take a brief questionnaire, and they will match you up with a therapist that fits you. And if you don't like that, you scrap them, get a new one at no extra cost. This can help you through all sorts of mental health issues, and you can do it all online. You can talk on the phone via text. You can talk on the phone uh, audio. You can do a video chat. Any which way that you can do it from your phone or your tablet, there is a licensed therapist there waiting to help you. So live your best life with better help. Go to betterhelp.com slash KFC and get 10% off your first month of online mental health help. That's betterhelp.com, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash KFC for 10% off your first month. Uh, so, I mean, as the data guy, you've pretty much always known, like, every, like, all, all the, uh, like, you'll, you'll know right away, like, which shows are good and which are not, what's a hit, what's not, right? Pretty much, yeah. So do you, like, does that affect, were you a fan of Barstool first? Yes, big yeah. fan, big fan. So you're a big fan, and then you, like, get a job here, and now you kind of have, like, like I said, like, the keys to the castle where you're like, all right, these guys are killing it, she's, you know next next thing up these guys you know people think they're big but they're not like that sort of shit yeah and yeah. does that like do you just try to i don't know lock that away or are you just like talking about yeah it no from, it's you know? it's i mean the i just got to report what's actually fucking happening yeah, so there's not much yeah. like room did, for did you become uh did you like stop being a fan no yeah you no. still like listen or consume yeah. or whatever yeah Interesting. yeah i've gotten worse at listening to podcasts while working so i'm definitely consuming less but mm -hmm. in in general yeah definitely still a fan that's surprising because usually people speaking for myself it stops being interesting <laughs> 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 yeah like sometimes mm -hmm. i i love it and i'm very flattered and like honored truly when people like people who i know and like at the company are like telling me something about the episode that we just did yeah and i'm like it just came out today and you already <laughs> listened to it Thanks, man. I've I've never watched any of yours. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like, w w um, you you just report like numbers, like you just run numbers, pretty much. But is yeah. it like, are you um, is it part of your job to like alert people of things? You know, like this is a monster. This is good. This yeah, is bad. You yeah, any, pretty much. Any, if, like editorializing. Who do you? Who do you? Alert? Yeah, definitely. There's some editorializing, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not lying. <laughs> like, like, yeah, but but if, you can if, be bought. If there's things, I can definitely be bought. I, I, I have never been bribed, but here's putting that out now, okay, I will wait. take bribes. Okay, wait. Here's the thing. Sorry. Yes. We need to bribe Greer. Okay. Because I would say that our rep, like out of all the shows here, our reputation, the guests that we have, the, the, the shit that we do doesn't match the, the numbers. So if we just like it's like yeah they do a bazillion downloads look at them they're going to fucking Amsterdam with Bert they're backstage with Shane they're doing this they're doing that they yeah they're just, uh, just add a fucking zero on so we bribe Greer to bump our numbers up what I'm basically saying is we're underperforming <laughs> and, there's, and, there's, and there's room for people to be like oh wow no they do a million downloads an episode look you know you couldn't do that to like just any old person because it'd be like well no we we can see they don't have I don't know, a lot of followers, they don't sell tickets. We do all that shit. We just need to add, like, a zero to our numbers. I have thought of that before, like, like hook, how hook sellers, up. like, they don't fucking know they what the downloads are. So, like, what's stopping us from just being, like, 10x every I, single thing I, we I do? Legit think you I don't, but, <laughs> but, like, I've thought about that. Because you can see YouTube and shit like that, but, right. but the download numbers aren't public. So... I think it's just like a trust system, I'm which I think is crazy. Pretty much one hundred percent positive. Podcast one used to do that back in the day. Oh, oh, th those. So I remember, I remember when, being like, we did. We were told we were doing like six hundred thousand downloads an episode. Yeah, and I was like, 
I'm pretty sure if I did that, like, we wouldn't be able to walk down the street. Like, <laughs> yeah, when uh, we use, like, pod track now, which yeah. is, like, the industry standard. And uh, I, so, so I... It's a little public, right? You can, you can log in and see other people's pod track or no? There's... They have rankings. So, like, right. you can see, like, the top 20. But, but like, it's not there's numbers, thousands. It's just... uh, they say how many downloads in a month, I think, okay. for the whole network and then the top, like, 20 podcasts. Got so it. It. they have a sense there. But in terms of, like, their whole, like... There's thousands and thousands more. And, um, yeah, like, before I got here, you guys use like, pod, Podcast One or whatever. Yeah. And I saw those numbers, and they were insane. Yeah. Like, they, those people were just criminals. I think. <laughs> no, I, I, <laughs> they, I, I, they weren't I, I, in the I, area code of, of, <laughs> of what they sure. are. Pretty sure they were. Yeah. Po- podcast One, I, I think 600,000 is, I think it was, like, 6 million. It was, yeah. Podcast One was crazy. Yeah, yeah I numbers. remember seeing them, and I'm just like, how the fuck is this, this... I mean, that must have sucked for the sales team at the time when we switched over to the legitimate measurement <laughs> system. Yeah, no, they were like, oh, dude, fuck. It, it was, sp- <laughs> like, slash everything down to the, it by, like, sucked, 90%. Uh, it sucked for them. It sucked for, I remember thinking, like, I, I knew something was up, you know? But I was like, I don't know, maybe maybe it's not 600,000, but maybe it's, like, 200,000 or whatever. And it's like, no, it was, like, 15,000. Yeah. So when we got, like, our real numbers, I was like, well, that's an ego hit. <laughs> I, I, yeah, he's dead. So, well, I don't want to speak ill of the dead either. That's not a reason to start talking shit. About. Ooh, the podcast but, one but guy. The podcast one guy was a wild dude. And He's think, dead. Yeah, he died. How? Um, that'd be a wild way. No. Uh, Probably Hillary. <laughs> 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 um, he he was seventy nine, so that's old uh, enough to just yeah. be dead. Yeah, let's not rule um, anything out. <laughs> Vaccine, Hillary. <laughs> Could be either one. <laughs> <laughs> Myocarditis, I fucking knew it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you're right. Like, like, I guess if you were to say this podcast does a million downloads an episode, and then when they did a promo code or they did an activation or they tried to sell some tickets or some merch and nothing sells, it would be a pretty obvious like, okay, wait, something's off here. But there's that. There's certainly a variance there where you can get away with it, where it's like yeah, hundred percent. Like the and again, I think so many of these. I mean, it's what Netflix to, does. To, yeah. Oh, it, it did two billion streams over the weekend. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> did it? I don't fucking know. But a lot of people have Netflix. So okay. Yeah, you isn't know? that what people are theorizing about the strike? Yeah. Like they've been bullshitting all the numbers, and that like once that has to come out. Like, it's so think- funny that people are theorizing it, and like everyone's spinning it as like it's their idea. Yeah, it's like, and it was like, oh, people are the, uh, fudging numbers in entertainment. <laughs> it's almost, it was like the first thing the writers said. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like their opening statement was, you're telling us it doesn't make money. You're telling the stock market it makes billions. You're lying to one of us. Right. Pick one. Right. And everyone's like, I think maybe they might be lying. And everyone's like, whoa, intelligent. What a philosopher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a- Andrew Schultz was that for me. I, I'm, like, I'm like, wow, he nailed this. I think. Schultz, Schultz is that for a lot of people. Schultz is that for a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> the the, uh, the um, that's why I'm impressed with the NBA is like actually paying players like what seems to be fair like sixty million dollars for uh, for Jalen Brown is like probably what he should be getting mm. but it, it it's just ridiculous to me that a the NBA owners let 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 it get to the point that it's fair like every other owner like they just fucking lock down and don't let, ever let it happen but even, but and it's not right like even if you, right still, like that's you still you're just, still they're still getting a deal that's crazy i mean owners aren't getting fucked right like so well, that, like whatever well, they're willing so to pay I mean, is like, is where, they're getting a deal where does it end like so if he's worth 60 then like the top dogs are legit worth like 100 well remember when we interviewed mark cuban and he said that the the way the league was set up and i don't believe it's been a lockout since then so i i would think it still stands is that the top, I, I want to say it was 25, he said. Maybe he's at 50, but he's in a, a number. The top 50 will be forever underpaid. Like, yeah. it will never. Well, if you, have a, if you have a cap, yeah. Yeah, he was like, because we asked him what he'd pay Luka Doncic. And he was like, I would give Luka Doncic $200 million a year. Right. It's like, I just can't. can't. But he's no, like, he's no. worth $200 million a year. Crazy. That's why baseball's nuts. That's why Otani's going to get like a billion. But that's where, I mean, po- you know, podcasting and, and all this internet shit is still kind of in the. The Wild West, like it's it's getting pod track and there is data and all this shit, but it's still like basically in its infancy. Yeah. So like like when you came on, were you like just like okay, I'm here. Here's the program I use, and I'll start to collect the data, or were you like 
creating the data system at Barstool? Because I feel like we didn't like, have I, one for a long time. I always say that uh, I should have been like the third or fourth data guy hired when I was the first. So I was supposed to create <laughs> I love the system. A fucking humble king. <laughs> I, I, was I love a self-aware king. I was probably supposed to create the system, but I can't. So, <laughs> so uh, I was doing everything in Google Sheets for, for a good like year but, but, or two. But so what does that mean? Like you have to get the information from some like downloads for my show. Yeah. Who, who, this is what I don't understand. Cause like, I don't think anybody understands it across all of media, but I think Nielsen boxes and shit, like people kind of grasp that like Apple, Spotify, like who gives you the first pieces of information, this many downloads pod track. So Podtrack. I was just and downloading have a deal with like the, yeah, the, the yeah. networks. right? Yeah. And so I would just download the pod track shit and like throw it into an Excel sheet. Whereas now we have much smarter people than and me doing like, like connecting to APIs and shit and making Got an it. actual database. But, but so Whereas before we... it's like, if I accidentally deleted a file, just <laughs> it's going to cause me weeks of work. <laughs> <laughs> you are, and you're, that, you're and a mail time hero. And, 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 just like, and that was it. like how things were done through the pen the first pen deal wow. so i always say i facilitated a 400 million dollar deal out of google sheets <laughs> that is a great fucking tale that, that's like a cube monkey like heroic tale like, i facilitated a 400 were you, were you just like literally just like entering like this many downloads this many views yeah, yeah like i'm not even that skilled in excel <laughs> and wow. but uh yeah I was, I was about to say that you can you know you can create pivot tables and lookups and all these yeah that things. stuff that stuff yeah like, i just know some people who are nasty like yeah like, like that like that you were doing that kind of shit the, like yeah the yeah. nasty stuff or the v lookups and the pivot tables that's that stuff yeah the okay. nasty stuff like you can like code in excel and stuff yeah. i don't know how to do that stuff. i, I feel like i'm doing... talking to oppenheimer right now and he's going i'm not really good at math it's like i mean you're good at math dude. You're, like, I, I don't know anything you're talking about man. i have no I, idea if you were doing it like the way like the lesser way it's still a lot of manual shit like yeah no it's it, a lot of and things are a lot easier like, yeah. thanks to the rest of the data team <laughs> Dude, i always whatever. say like no you're the fucking king of this shit i always say they do like like for having to drive down the field 99 yards i'm the one who punches it in at the end like i get the ericas of the world the numbers they need and stuff but all the hard work is done by the rest okay. of the team members. so let's like hope that no one, and and no one from immigration is listening and no one from barstool management is listening. This is, that's the most canadian way to describe your job like everyone else really works hard you know but uh i work hard yeah. i work hard because just, i just got lucky to. with the boys and uh you know they tic tac go i just i'm just on the doorstep you know i just gotta hit it <laughs> uh, but so pod track we just take on faith yeah like, yeah and there's just i don't fucking believe anybody there's just no way that after like like uh once you know tv was around hollywood's around all these other forms of media are around once those guys were all in place executives and whoever people with money and they were like okay there's this new whole industry podcasts and v videos and shit like we're gonna manipulate the fuck out of this you know what i mean yeah. like there's just no way they were just like let's just do this honestly it's like no way we're gonna yeah. just, we're gonna make these numbers say what we what we want them to say we're gonna take bribes we're gonna you know whatever you want more downloads less downloads you want this you want that because like who can even it's all just like in the ether you know what i mean well mikey fowler is the one who like tries to expose companies for Does so yeah. so yeah, yeah. if uh, I mean, if you fuck around mikey fowler might have some expose i, 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 I can't remember surprised. what it was i i don't want, i shouldn't fucking name a company but i i want to say it was like or something that would like some numbers were getting fudged i think they were like i want to say they were like putting on those mobile games on your phone like the advertisements were like auto downloading podcasts or something Yo, like, oh, I, really? I could be i could I be remember. misremembering and i, and I, I <laughs> <laughs> but yeah there was something like that i remember him texting that, that's about. what i mean like it's either going to be those people or or i mean uh, we did it when kfc radio first started remember when the when, when the, uh, the autoplay on, on barstool sports we put a uh like a widget i guess uh, oh yeah, it was yeah. called it was just like where, where there was usually a banner ad was now a square player and it auto played 
and uh, and it got like a million. It was like just views of the website counted yeah. as downloads. So I remember uh, talking with Dave and being like, we worked out something like just so I could get like a thousand dollars a fucking month for the podcast. It was mm. like uh, for this many views, downloads, you get like a little bit of change, but. All of a sudden, it went to like a million views, and I was kind of like, and I remember Dave writing an email, being like, "We can't have this, or you'll make more money than me. <laughs> <laughs> this is not, this is not real, you know." But it was like um, all that sort of shit. Th- those were blatantly like fake and stupid. But you know, if you but do it also smart, that wasn't our idea. I don't know who did that. It, it just was, happened. Uh, it was he who shall not be named, a man who was uh, uh, fired for uh, or. Went our separate ways for talking about the weight of of pop stars. Ah, that makes sense. Okay, yeah. So oh, um, it was going to be a different he who shall not. Yeah, be named. <laughs> like, how many? How many? The, one, the he who shall not be named who hired me. <laughs> oh, that's another one. So there's like there's like four or five he who shall not be named. Yeah, <laughs> that's a he. Who I think not that one's named. legally. The other ones like I just don't want Dave yeah. to get mad at me. I yeah. think that one's where legally cannot right, be. We named. cannot say it. Yeah, hmm. that your he who shall not be named is actually like a. I love that he who should not be named. Like that was an era, and I think we need more of that. And I think we have none of that. I think we need a lot of that he who should not be named with a little bit less of that. Yeah, <laughs> take some of the good of that without some of the craziness. But like, I actually think Greer's a good level of that. Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You get, like, good vibes. Yeah, it's vibes. It really is. That was kind of the one thing with. He also should not be named. Is like the vibe was scary. It was like, Whoa, I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, he uh, he. He ended up leaving like a week after I started, and he was the one. He hired I was, you? Yeah, and I was, he was like my boss. And then for like three weeks, I was like, fuck. <laughs> like, wow. no, nobody was telling me what to do, so I was That's, just doing checks. random shit. Like, I didn't even know what was important at the company. And yeah. I was just downloading numbers and just trying to do anything with them and being like, anyone give a fuck? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was so much. I would rather that. That's legitimately better than the person who just like is told what to do and just like prints it out. Here you go. Prints it out. Here you go. At least you were like, I don't know, trying, looking at things, yeah. trying to figure it out. Well, Probably I, eventually I, did. Like I had just quit my job and move to America. <laughs> so I had to stay. <laughs> so I had to figure figure out how to become valuable or else uh, it was it was back to Canada. That, how did they fi- how did they find you? Uh, I, I didn't know you weren't in New York or anything. Um Cat Timpf put out a, a tweet saying mean, how did they find you? Like who found him? I, I don't know. Uh, the person who shot my name. So it oh, was oh, oh, oh. I, I, th- I thought you were talking about getting getting like deported or something. No, no, no. Okay. no. Uh, it yeah, was, I knew that was going to eventually get into a it was, gray territory. We didn't know what we were talking about anymore. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it was Kat Timp, uh, put when she started with us, she put out a tweet that said, like, I need an intern to send me um, a list of things in New York that I can make a video at each week. And I just replied, and Gaz ended up... Uh, emailing huh. me back and so, so I was but it just, wasn't a data thing it was like no a, not at all a production thing in a way you were like, yeah and ideas. so i was just i would just like google things that she could go to um and the one my favorite thing that i've done at barstool is i put the gathering of the juggalos i was about on. to say did you, I, yes. I, put, I put that on the email like literally every <laughs> single her. week and it was like you gotta go to that <laughs> her, her like crowning achievement and i believe kind of goes re-viral every now and then there's just like always a clip from that that's out there in the ether yeah and that's so a, that's a, I think, a great claim to fame i think i remember uh, i think i picked it up from the comment section like someone said like something about the gathering of the juggalos someone should do a video there and i'm like all right i'll fucking just stick it in the email every single week were you a commenter no 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 um yeah, but good, yeah good, like good, uh good that was that was always that was like always like, when i sat when i had my first interview with dave the first question he asked me is are you a commenter on the website and i was like no and he's like, i'll find out and i was like i'm not and he's like okay we can continue the interview now. Yeah, that's, like, uh, that's like the sats like of getting into school it's like the first barrier like if you don't get a score above this you're out and then we'll start looking at your extracurriculars mm-hmm. But yeah, so then like I did that for Kat for a while, then she left and Gaz just said, You can keep doing this and then I was like, I also do data and so he was like, Meet he who shall not be named <laughs> and then uh, yeah. took it from there. I love that. Like what you just said though, I think is is almost like the key to like any fucking job and what you're what are, like severely lacking here. You just said I just needed to find a way to be valuable. Yeah. And I don't think anybody does that. Yeah. I think people come in and say make me valuable like tell me tell me what to do or like i am valuable you're just not using me the right way or whatever you know some of these people do 
instead of being like, okay, this didn't work or let me pivot or let me add or whatever. Um, yeah, Which luckily is, Erica stuck me with Stu after a few weeks of like it's like all right, Greer clearly doesn't have a boss. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> he's, he's trying to do stuff, but he doesn't know what to do. And then uh, that that is always pretty rewarded. Dave just yeah. said it at that, at that, that meeting uh, a couple weeks ago, and he was like, if, he, <laughs> I don't even know, like it wasn't a public thing, so I don't know if I'm supposed to say it, but he basically was like. It was like, if you work hard, you'll always have a job here, even if there are no results. <laughs> <laughs> you know what was very disappointing about that meeting? What? There was a little uh, – you're actually, you were in our corner, so you might have noticed, or you might have already been getting up. We didn't get the star. We didn't get the star? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the, the star painting? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Everyone popped up like, no, you didn't uh, mention it. The picture, you know? <laughs> what you put in is what you get out. I think that's end of year usually. I think I, I think that's the first that. like all hands meeting we've had <laughs> where that painting didn't get referenced. It's always like pointing to it. Yeah. Head down. Yeah. It's like that painting. It's like that one in there. Can we steal that and put that in here? I don't want to throw anyone the bus, but someone, someone after that meeting it didn't get mentioned. He's like, I'm fucking quitting. <laughs> <laughs> Quakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I put, Quakes is probably the second funniest person. I was gonna say, I put Quakes and Greer in like uh, the same boat. I don't even know. I don't know what Quakes does at all. Is he data too? He's, no, he's like graphics and all like that. Graphics. But is, that, but is, that, is that what his job is? I always thought yes. he was making those like on the side while doing some other no. sort of shit. He's no. actually no, Wiggs he's is like his own department in and of his himself. Yeah. Like, like literally, like yeah. Lou, uh, not Luke. Uh, uh, Nick showed me the other day like the <laughs> org chart or whatever you call it. It's just quakes. and it's just quakes. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, I thought it was just like he's really good at at the memes and the pictures and stuff and the Photoshop. So I do that while I'm doing data or fucking whatever other you know he does graphics but he's like dave requests so much shit from him it's like you just gotta let him do a little milmore-esque yeah. remember yeah. milmore was just like dave's guy milmore's still here too yeah milmore's Somewhere. still out there doing it quigs guy. quigs is to me the funniest person i've ever met in my life <laughs> like by by a very very wide margin like, he, he will just do like video edits just for a group chat that never see the light of day. <laughs> like he'll, he'll spend like a half hour on it just to get like six haha reactions. <laughs> then the email I showed you yesterday, um, like literally right as Pav said speed, which is like action, I guess. Uh, in, in which we've had to change. Speak. I'm like, you have to say action because yeah. I don't know what speed yeah. is. Speed, so said speed, speed is for sound, then action is for camera. So yeah. Feidelberg's like walking into the room and I'm just, cause I don't do anything ah. while well, like, I'm useless. Everyone's holding a camera and I'm like, I'm just chilling there. And I read my text and it's just quigs with no other context. He just cropped an email he got from Gaz and he just crops the top line. It just says, how big is it? And I just, I was like cracking up in the corner while the guys were filming just because of a fucking quigs text. You said like from Paul at parcelsworth.com. How big is it? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, does Gaz? Do you still have any r reporting to Gaz? Yeah, he asks a lot of, of, a lot of shit. About the, oh, I I don't know if you earn, uh, heard earlier. Greer was talking about how he prepares things and sends it to who. I went sends to who? Send to who? Because I just wanted him to say Gaz, Gaz. just to oh, see yeah, what you would yes, say. Yes, yes, <laughs> it's it's most he's often Gaz. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like hundred percent. Now we do this, you know, this the new GM structure. Everything is about when we present to Erica and Gaz. When we present to Erica and Gaz, and I want, I'm, I'm like, I think next meeting I'm going to go in and say no more saying Gaz. <laughs> just say Erica. I know that we will be doing it to Gaz too, but stop saying it. <laughs> Presenting to Gaz <laughs> while he's probably laid on the fucking sidewalk too. Yeah. <laughs> no, he, he's actually he's like an old man now he's usually like in bed by eight yeah by like six but. he's he's the one i was with right before the yep. uh that picture that, oh, that <laughs> tracks. That straight war that, there that, was not that. a doubt in my mind about that <laughs> <laughs> so um but now so like there's no way you're supposed to be like an impartial just numbers guy right but like you obviously want out of order to crush 
Yes, I do. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> if, like, if we have a bad episode, it might not make the report that much. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, just little things that could be like, whoops. <laughs> or like, if you have a good one, it's at the very fucking top but, of the page. Yeah, and then, and then <laughs> like, my recommendations for Out of Order needs to get posted on Main way more. Like, yeah, I, just, I just think but, it's good. Do you, do you do recommendations, though? So, Or is it like, do you just it, present numbers? Or it's like... Here's the numbers and my evaluation of these are like yeah, my it, assessment but is it would it's it's not stuff like that like put this on main it's yeah. it's more like um it'd be like you're not using Instagram enough you're so heavily yeah. weighted TikTok if something works on TikTok it'll work on Instagram too got like it, got it. shit like that would right. be the recommendation but you i mean you could like that that is saying something you know it's like if you recognize that uh, more than any other um, asset or any other brand or whatever, when when this gets mass appeal from our main account, it does better than the average thing getting posted on the main account. Yeah. So use it more. Like that could be yeah, a logical true. Yeah. assumption. That, you know yeah, that I mean? would that, it would be shit like that. Yeah. Like, but, but the numbers would, always have to back it. Yes, hundred yeah. percent. It can't. But I can't again, just be like just... put this on main right. for no particular reason. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Quig just sent me this text. Pop that on. Main. <laughs> yeah. but, like, but here, knowing that Gaz is the one looking at the reports, at, like no one's checking what Greer is doing. Either. <laughs> no one, whatever Greer is getting is not being checked by anybody, and whatever Greer is passing along is not being checked by anybody. So just add some zeros and make some assessments and fucking, you know, I'll get you some Canadian dollars, man. We're we're describing a microcosm of the world. Yeah. <laughs> no one checks. Just <laughs> for real, man. For fucking real. Nobody cares. As long as they have something that they can go, well, I did this because this is what the report said. And they go to the guy who makes the report and he goes, well, this is what Podtrack said. <laughs> and then it just stops there. There's, there's like, some time. Mostly few years ago i remember someone was asking for some metric that was clearly bullshit and didn't matter i think it was like youtube impressions which literally is just like if someone comes across the thumbnail they don't even have to click the fucking video just like and it was like a buyer wanted to know how many impressions it gets which it's several orders of magnitude above views yeah. so it's the most useless fucking thing in the world your advert your ad isn't going to be viewed or anything but one of our sellers was like one of the buyers wants to know YouTube impressions. And I replied, like, do they know that's the most useless fucking metric <laughs> on the entire platform? And then, and then he was just like, no, I don't think so. And I'm just like, Here all right. Is. Well, yeah. I'm, I, I said to him, I'm like, if you can find buyers that will buy on this metric, keep doing it. Yeah, well, that sounds just, like the biggest fucking I'm glad you said that because that brings a question. How about Twitter impressions? Those those are much closer to video views because ba- it like auto plays as you go by. Okay. But but, it, but uh, so every 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 platform has their own definition of a view, right? Yeah. One second, two seconds, eight yeah. seconds, whatever. But but never mind. No, go ahead. No, 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 no. I'm gonna continue it. So you, that what, you go ahead. Well, it it seems like certain things get sold on impressions, and you know. Uh, that seems like fugazi. That seems like I would say it's mostly views at this point. Yeah. Like very rarely do I hear anything about impressions, and I think that's normally for like okay. a fucking picture because okay. there's no. Because then we, no we hear about thing. impressions a lot. Yeah. So we we hear from stupid. I think people, people I a lot of people use impressions and views like video views interchangeably, okay. even though they're not exactly the same. But okay. for most of these social platforms, they're pretty fucking close. Like, okay. At the end of the day, because sometimes it feels like I'm hearing about impressions, and I'm like, well, are those so it's either they're just using the word wrong or it is a a, a, a viable yeah. measurement. Yeah. Okay. Except um, YouTube. They're, those are still dog shit. They, they make no sense. <laughs> it's just like if it, there's a recommended video on the side, you're really? giving an impression. Yeah. So, I mean, it's good for looking for your actual channel. Look like, oh, is our thumbnail good? Are people seeing it and then clicking? Yeah. But in terms of like selling it, I I was baffled when some when someone asked about that, but that was that was several years ago. But yeah, that would be a useless one for someone like buying shit. Um, last question because I got to do another show. Uh, how safe moon? What, what's gonna happen with safe? That was like the first time I feel like we ever like had like a real. Interaction. Still, you a thousand bucks for that. <laughs> I've been out on safe moon. I don't know where You're it out? is. Yeah. I don't know how to get out. I <laughs> I if if you told me there was a hundred million dollars in the account right now, but you have to access it without asking for help. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would have to figure that out again. Like, I completely forgot about that, that stuff. That, that was yeah, that, that was, was a wild was, summer. That <laughs> was hard. Like, I, mean, I remember you trying to help me through it, and it was like, 
got to do this, that. The other thing was like 25 steps to get just to buy some Safe Moon. And then, and then he, Portnoy torpedoed it. <laughs> yeah. And then there were ones that were just straight up scam. Like, Safe Moon was a scam, but like they pretended they weren't yeah. there were some that straight up like me and tommy bought puss coin and <laughs> and it went it went to, it went to zero within 30 minutes <laughs> we we got robbed within the hour <laughs> puss coin. yeah i can't great. believe him. <laughs> I, was, the guy I was i was handling caleb's finances at that time because we were we were in on ass coin and that was one of the ones that were like decent like it stayed afloat yeah. and then uh and and then we, I was like, I was like, yo, me and Tommy are trying to get into Puss Coin, and he's like, he's like, Puss Coin's gross. That doesn't have, <laughs> that doesn't, that doesn't have mass appeal like ass. I'm staying out. And then, sure enough, he, his, his logic was correct. <laughs> the, Financial. The, uh, the Puss Coin creators Puss weren't <laughs> upstanding citizens. <laughs> they didn't see it as the as the next world reserve currency. I think they just wanted to make a quick buck. <laughs> What uh, did any of those coins like? I know you were a big coin guy. Did anything? Not nothing made you. I still have hope for Hoge. Yeah, I think they're all still dead. But on the next run up, some might something still will, continue. Like, like Hoge are still. Again, right? Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Like, like somebody will go to a penny again. And yeah, it'll blow up right. I'll, yeah, those. It's just a matter of if the people are still doing anything with yeah. it. And I think the Hoge I mean, people are. Hoge. So, I've hopefully. talked to Hoge people who like. Uh, they, uh, I don't know if they are either like scammers or just the most dedicated people. Like they, but they believe in this shit. They were like, we're trying to open up like, uh, like foundations and like charities and like help the world and all this shit. I'm like, we're talking about Hoge. Yeah, going, right? that, like, that the, became a big thing Hoge? where they would all just like adopt an African country <laughs> yeah. and, be, and be like, "We're gonna help Zambia. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna help Zambia." I Hoge. Like, no, these guys like, are How legit. the fuck are you gonna do that? <laughs> these guys are for real. They're helping out the kids. <laughs> no, no. All right, man. Well, great vibes as always. Just keep bringing the vibes. Thanks for having and, me. And Thank you. Just man. remember, just like like a couple extra zeros here and there <laughs> that report and uh is okay. he gonna get greer in actual trouble yeah, yeah i know <laughs> imagine, imagine if greer got deported from this fucking episode if somebody was like that KSU radio episode that was it <laughs> well if that happens we we bear no responsibility i'll i'll head to the courthouse and get married before they can do that <laughs> All right, big thanks for watching. If you made it through this whole episode, that means you should be subscribed. There's so many of you out there who watch and don't subscribe, so make sure you are a KFC Radio subscriber. Make sure you get all the content when it drops. Click that button now. I have nine fingers. I'm still subscribed. It's that easy.